Hi everybody, thank you for coming back to my channel. I wanted to film a quick video on this little bag. It's so, it's called my office tools bag. Um, quick story about this bag. Found it when I was browsing Target. You know how you go to Target, you have your list, but then like the whole meme where like Target tells you what you need. Well, Target told me I needed this. It was like $13 or eight, yeah, maybe, yeah, I think 13. It was like a weird odd number like that. Um, there weren't that many left, had my target at least, obviously, but, um, so I got this one, it's kind of got like a weird dent in it, but you know what, it builds some character. So, I just wanted to go over this because I feel like this is in a lot of my videos, and it's kind of like a new little lunchbox looking thing I've added to my system, but it actually comes in handy, and this bag is killer. It fits so much, I, you can just tell from this alone, like, it holds so many goodies so before I was using this like small pen pouch and then I was kind of just like tossing my all my sticker books like into my purse and it was just like all jumbled up a big old mess and then I got this and I bought this it wasn't $13 just for the bag no it was $13 it had the bag it had I'll show you it had like all these goodies in it, it had like a tape dispenser a stapler a staple remover um pencil maybe a pen post-it notes like it it had a thousand things <laughs> And I was like, okay, uh, dare, that's what I'm getting. So anyways, let's just open it up. Um, I, you see this in all my videos because I literally take it around the house with me. I take it out and about with me. I take it everywhere. So I freaking love this little thing. Completely unedited. Everything that's in here, it probably can be in here in a lot nicer way, but it's just thrown in here because I literally just popped this out of my bag. I was doing some evening planning and... This is what it looks like at the end of the day. So, opening it up, I will make a note on what things came with it and what is, um, obviously the rest will just be mine. But um, these are my two go-to sticker books all the time. I say that enough. <laughs> um, they're both from Planner Monkey Co. She sells them in her shop. Um, I can't say enough good things about them. I adore both of these. So. I love that it fits both my sticker books so I can take them with me on the go because I'm always car planning. So I have those in there. So again, just those alone that takes up a lot of space and that fits just on top. So if that just goes to show like how much it holds, it's crazy. Um, also my little um, brain dump book, whatever you want to call this thing, my little, yeah, brain dump. <laughs> I take this everywhere too. I made a mention in one of my previous videos that this like goes in my purse, it goes in my work bag, it goes in, you know, my lunchbox at work, like everywhere that I go, this goes. So the fact that I can fit it inside here comfortably, it's just, it's the perfect situation. Um, so it fits that. This is also from Target. Um, I bought it a long time ago. I don't know if it's even still there. So all three of those, those are like the bulkier things. They probably should be closer to the bottom, but, um, can't leave the house without chapstick, so I got some chapstick in there. Um, I'd be surprised if there wasn't like lotion in there too. Um, so I have this. This did not come with it, but I bought this on Amazon. Um, this was probably like five bucks, and it came in a pack, like a four pack or something. I think it was like a six inch, eight inch, twelve inch, and eighteen inch. Maybe there was like a few different sets of ruler. Um, so this is just obviously the six inch and it fits perfect. So I can whip this out if I need um, a quick straight edge, if I want to use a washi cutter for whatever reason and I want it precise, I don't know. Um, I mostly just use it for the straight edge on the go. So I have that, I love it. I just love how cute and compact it is, it fits in there. Um, so yeah, we have that. This came with it. So pretty much everything that's gold in here came with it. Um, this is just a, uh, tape dispenser. <laughs> Words are hard. It's been a long day. We just played hide and go seek for like two hours. I'm drained. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, just a tape dispenser. I love this thing. Um, the reason I keep this with me on the go, I don't like tape a lot of stuff because a lot of the, um, portable, um, photo printers that I use they come with like the sticky back anyway so I don't use this for that but if obviously one of my pages rips I can use tape for it and then I use this tape for all I don't even where's my planner oh for all of my vellums I'll just show you real quick 
I've gotten a lot of questions on videos like, how do you tip in your vellum? Well, the only reason I knew is because I also YouTubed it. <laughs> um, so you can see, like, if you go close, I'm sure with this ring light, you can see how it's shiny right there. I just use tape and you can add it in. And this page wasn't there. This is literally just vellum. So you can make anything into a tip in. So this same thing, you see kind of where it's shiny in the middle. Um, yeah, that's really it. It's super easy, but that's why I keep this with me because I never know when I'm going to be tipping things in. <laughs> so <laughs> I just want to keep it close and on hand. Um, these also came with the, um, with the little kit. I have a hard time with them sometimes and I'm still learning to love them. Look at that. How cute. They're so cute. <laughs> They work really nicely. They're not like too sharp, so it's not like scary, you know, but um, they're just so fun. You just pop them in and then like slide them in. I don't know how many of you I just made really nervous as I did that, probably way too erratically. Anyways, I have quite a few. Um, diff oh, geez, Taylor. Geez, you need to go to bed. Take yourself to bed. Okay, I have quite a few little washi cards, just on like old debit and bank cards and Starbucks gift cards and Barnes and Noble cards, whatever it is. Um, washi cards, these aren't necessarily like my favorite um, favorite washi, but they were just some washi I had on hand and I just like to mix and match and I like to use up what I have. So I have those in there whenever I want to just do a quick tip in or I want to add um, just a little flare. Or I have some extra white space. I can just add that in. Um, so this I'm actually going to take out now that I have this. I didn't even realize I still had this in there. So this is a Heidi Swap ruler and stencil and you can like put it into your personal planner. Um, I don't recommend this. <laughs> I hate saying that. I hate coming on here and saying things I don't recommend. But I bought this in hopes that I would really like it. But I have a hard time. I don't have any pens in here that really would help me explain, but I feel like these are so thin that the average pen, I don't know if you can see that, it like just doesn't fit in. And so I always like barely graze the surface of the paper when I'm trying to use it. So I found myself not able to use the stencil whatsoever. And then I was just using this for the straight edge, but then I like this 10 times better. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Bye. Um, what else? Okay, I have a few post-it notes. These came in a little pack, I think, at Target. They're just so cute. <laughs> They're just mini and adorable. So I have these. I like them a lot. More post-it notes. So these one, oh, this was the fourth one, I guess, that came with it. So those are cute. Um, and then the ones that you saw me like aggressively ripping earlier. Jeez. Sorry guys. <laughs> These ones came with this. You can see they kind of match the same color. Um, so these two sets of post-it notes did come with it. I like them, so I keep them in there. And then I just always, you never know when you're going to kind of mark things off. I have these. I love tabbing up my planner. Um, and these are just cute. I think I got these at Walmart. They're Avery tabs. And I can just throw them in and out whenever I need them. These came with it as well. Like... Are you guys kidding me? Like, I got these, this, this, post-it notes. Like, I got so much stuff with it. <laughs> um, and again, it did also come with a mini stapler, which I don't really use. I let my daughter play with it. And then a staple remover, too. Um, anyways, though, I got these cute little skeleton binder clips. So sometimes when I'm planning in the car, um, and it's kind of hard to write and hold the paper down, whatever it is, I can just tip this on the um, edges and my paper will lay open. Um, I have my white out. This is the Tombow Mono Air 4 correction tape. Um, it's the white color. Oh, you can't even see it. Hopefully it's not dead. No. There we go. <laughs> Duh. Okay, it's just the white color, not the cream. I will probably try the cream next. I just purchased this and I wasn't going to let it go to waste. So no complaints about that. I have my little pen collection. So I have this Uniball Signo Broad. It's just the, um, like a white gel pen. And I use this a lot um, because luckily the 
Tamora River paper in the Hobonichi Weeks is cream. So my work schedule changes like all the time. And I like to use this since it's white and it's kind of hard to see even on the cream paper unless you're really looking for it. I'll like circle the dates that I'm supposed to work or put like a little star or something with the white. So it's kind of um, hard to see when you're just staring at it. But then, you know, if you're searching around, you can find it. Um, I also use this. I don't have any of my Zig dot markers with me in this pouch, which I'm surprised because I typically have my black one. But if I'm making little um, black dots with like a uniball, or not a uniball, I'm sorry. If I'm making the little dots with like a zig pen, or even if I'm taking like this brown mild liner and you're just marking things off, I like to be able to cross things off with this and it'll show up on top. So there's like the five minute story about that white gel. <laughs> um, I have this mild liner in brown. And these are some of my other like most used pens. So this is the one that came with my Hobonichi. I have a few of them and I adore them. It's got the red, the blue, and the black. Um, I love them so much. I use them in my Bible because it writes really well on that those types of pages. It writes amazing in my Stalogy. It writes amazing in my Tomorrow River paper. These pens are bomb. I love them. Um, what else? This mechanical pencil, I have not used a mechanical pencil in probably like five years, I feel like. But this one is like bringing me back to my middle school days. And if you can't tell, this one also came with the pouch. Um, This is a brush pen touch. I'm not sure exactly which brand. It's just yellow ochre as far as the color. I got this off of Jet Pens and I really, I like it a lot just when I want to do brush pen, um, but I don't want like a hard black color. Um, this one is the one that I usually use. It's the, I'm not even going to try and say it, like Funden, Funden Osuk, I don't know. Um, but it's the Tombow brush pen. I think there are, so, oh yeah, this is the hard tip. Okay, so there's the hard tip and then I think there's like a soft tip or something too. Um, I do really, this is my favorite brush pen in the hard tip. I love it. Um, so I was trying to look for a backup and just to try and like wet my brush pen palette. So I was like, oh, I can, you know, I got the gold one now. I got that one. I'm just going to try another one. So I got this one also off Jet Pens. It's a Pilot Jet Pen in, I don't know. But this one I mentioned in one of my last plan with me's, it's like super juicy. Oh, sorry, you can barely see that. It's like super juicy and it bleeds through a lot, which for me, it doesn't bother me. But um, someone else who really like takes their planner pages very seriously and wants everything to look um, like a certain way or look very nice and tight and neat and doesn't want shadowing or anything like that, I would not recommend this pen. This is not the brush pen for you. Um, like I said, it's very juicy. It's not like hard to control, but it's just, it's just a very wet pen. It takes a long time to dry. It bleeds through a lot. So if that's your thing, then this is the one. But if not, I would probably slide past that. Um, my last pen is my, what is this? Vanishing Point, Pilot Vanishing Point. It's a fountain pen. I'm not, I'm not well versed in fountain pens. This is like my very first one, pretty much. I think this is the extra fine nib. Maybe you guys can tell. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. My husband got this for me. And I'm super happy he did because this is literally one of my favorite pens. I have the blue ink and I just love it. I love how fine it is. I love every, it's, it was super easy to add the ink, um, to change the ink. I love this thing. So also one of my favorite pens. And then the last couple of things, I just have a few um, of these. I got these off Amazon in like a hundred pack or something. Um, they're just cute little clips. <laughs> they're mini and they have hearts and they're so cute. And then I have these. I got these, I think, from Lucy Plans Life, um, quite a few months ago. And I just have my daughter's initials on them. So I have Beatrice, Sydney, and Mia all in their own little planner clips. Um, I just actually have to add these back onto my planner. Okay. Yeah, I just have to add them back onto my planner. So they've just been kind of chilling at the bottom. But um, yeah, in a perfect world, this is kind of how I would pack it back up. So it was nice and neat. 
but realistically, <laughs> these are the things I pull most, so they should probably be on top, but whatever. I just want to be able to show you guys how much fits in here, so if you go to Target and you see this, it's really affordable. It comes with the things you, you need, and you can add so many other things to it, so I highly recommend it. This is what I take with me almost everywhere. Um, actually, probably everywhere. And yeah, it's not too heavy. It closes. There's nothing like weird about it. See, it just all fits on top. There's really not too much like bulging or anything. So there it is. My little office tools bag. So <laughs> if you guys have any other questions, just um, let me know. But if not, I hope to see you guys sporting this bag around. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.